So good morning everyone. Today's video that I wanted to bring to you all today, um, before I end the beginning, has a couple of disclaimers. Um, I do understand that this can be a controversial subject, but I'm not trying to really focus on the controversy of it. Um, it is uh, it is a video uh, based off of uh, biblical information, but regardless of which I do I do feel like it's important information or just something nice that I wanted to share with you guys that I feel like everybody can use in one way, shape, or form, no matter what your beliefs or religions are. But the basis of this theory, and it is a theory, which I do not expect anybody to accept by any means anyways, um, it's just a theory that I end up having that's basis are from biblical, biblical nature. So with that being said, um, the topic that I'm speaking about is the Tower of Babel. At some point, everybody, or most of you, have heard this story where mankind, using some ancient language, was able to communicate with one another to create a tower to find God. And somewhere along the lines, all right, God had changed everybody, had, had knocked down the tower, people had when people descended and fell down to the earth, they couldn't communicate, they couldn't speak each other's language anymore, and therefore they could not proceed in building a tower up to heaven. Um, I don't I don't know if correctly that's the whole entire angle behind it. Don't quote me on any of this. Again, I'm I'm not a person who studies the Bible per se, but I do feel like this story is, is an interesting thing to analyze from from a different point of view. And uh, what I want to bring is the hidden language. A lot of us uh, believe that the hidden language was originally Latin, and this is the reason why nobody speaks Latin anymore. But I want to take it further in something deeper, uh, a different mindset, more based off of the last video that I did um, uh, posted up called The Inner Technology. And what if that language wasn't a verbal language? What if that language wasn't based off of verbiage or what we speak, the words that we am saying, but based off of something that happens from within? What if it's something that commences with empathy and compassion for one another? Because if you analyze the subject, everybody was able to communicate with one another without flaw. And Sometimes when we're best in communication with one another is when we have empathy or compassion with one another. It's the intention behind what we are doing. Have you ever had a moment that you have engaged with a friend and you ask them how they're doing and they're like, I'm fine. And then you see through the crack and you're like, no, come here. And you give them a hug and they begin to break down on you. Because whatever they're showing physically is is just a show on the inside all of us are getting tired and we choose not to inform anybody else because we think nobody would care um likewise have you ever had a moment i know i've experienced this many of times where you walk into the room and you're like hey yo did you call me and the person responds with no no i haven't but i was thinking about it um, do, am I saying that this is like some sort of telepathy or anything like that? Mm, not exactly. I mean, maybe it could be if we could develop it to that point. I believe even dolphins are able to communicate with one another without making any sounds. Um, but it's more of a harmoniousness from within that allows us to understand each other, really grasp where somebody's coming with, and not necessarily to judge or to disagree or to uh, critique, simply to see the other person's point of view and see, hey, you know what? You kind of have a point. It's not necessarily one that I would go by on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do see where you are coming from. I understand it. And uh, through this understanding, I guess we, we have a better communication with one another. I feel like this could potentially be that missing language that we have lost 
this ability of using our intuition to communicate with one another, to be linked with one another, to progress and cooperate with one another. Think of it as you will in a workspace. Sometimes we are working and then there's that individual who doesn't who doesn't seem to be getting things right. And our first notion tends to be to analyze them and be like, you know what, he doesn't know how to do his job right. Or she doesn't know how to do his job right. And in our mindset, we're already judgmenting, engaging in on the person's capability of doing their jobs. And I feel like if we intuitive see that a person is struggling and getting something done, rather than telling them you should do things this way or that way, lead by example. Help them out. Hey, yo, what do you need help with? Okay, like, um, it's just like, I, I, am, am I doing it right? The person might respond. And it's like, well, this is the way that we usually end up doing it this way and that way. But, you know, to each their own, you know, the important thing is that you find a way that works for you that still ends up accomplishing the task. You know, like, even that conversation alone has a lot more connective energy in it as opposed to mentally me looking at someone's like, look at this dumb fool over here doing, like, what is he doing? And then, like, when I turn up to him, I was like, hey, yo, it's not done that way. Is the person going to listen to me? Is the person going to hear what I have to say? Possibly not. They're going to look at it as like, oh, you're making fun of me. My point about this is that there's, even though we speak with one another, there's something that happens from within. And when you have this energy of compassion, empathy, and intuition that gauges yourself with the other human being, puts yourself in their shoes, in their position, and how you would like to be felt under the same circumstances if you were doing the same thing, you're able to gauge out your communication better. You're able to express yourself in a better way. So again, like I said, this is simply a theory not a fact i don't expect anybody to accept this all right and i'm already expecting i'm I'm not posting out this video without expecting some sort of critique or being put on blast for anything blasphemous or this this and that contrary towards the bible what i'm speaking to i'm simply saying that maybe if we move in this direction maybe in Refinding that intuition, the human intuition that communicates from within with one another, that shows empathy and compassion with one another, we might find the answers we're looking for. We might be on the right track. Um, again, just a theory. And uh, it's just one that I wanted to share with you guys today. Something that's been on my mind for quite some time now. And um, I just really hope that you guys can really are enjoying these videos and I uh, thank you all who are watching them and I appreciate each and every one of you and each and every one of them I ex I'm with all the love in the world I express it towards you guys I'm hoping that you guys can gain something from it and use it moving forward in your day-to-day -day basis so with that said with all the love in the world as always love you guys and until next time